Volcanoes, one of nature's most powerful and spectacular phenomena. Today, we explore the fascinating world of volcanoes, how they form, and the diverse types of volcanoes found around the world. Volcanoes are openings in the Earth's crust that release ash, gases, steam, and hot liquid rock called lava. When the lava cools and hardens, it forms into the cone-shaped mountain, we call it a volcano. Volcanoes are created deep inside the earth, where it's super hot. Deep within the mantle, the intense heat and pressure melt rocks, forming a liquid rock called magma. The hot magma, which is lighter and floats up, starts to rise towards the surface. It travels through channels and cracks, eventually reaching underground storage areas called magma chambers. Deep inside the volcano, the powerful magma gathers in a chamber, waiting to release its energy. As the pressure increases, the magma searches for a way to break through the Earth's crust and make its escape. When the magma reaches the surface, we call it lava. This glowing, molten rock flows down the slopes of the volcano, either causing destruction or creating beautiful, cone-shaped mountains that we name as volcanoes. Volcanoes come in different shapes and sizes, each having its own unique features and qualities. Some volcanoes are active, with a recent history of eruptions and the potential for future ones. Dormant volcanoes have not erupted in a long time, but can awaken in the future. Extinct volcanoes, on the other hand, are not expected to erupt again. Currently, there are approximately 1,500 active volcanoes worldwide. These are volcanoes that have erupted within historical times or show signs of recent activity. In total, there are over 1,500 volcanoes across the globe. Volcanic eruptions occur in specific places, often associated with the boundaries between Earth's tectonic plates. Along the Ring of Fire, a fiery belt encircling the Pacific Ocean, around 75% of the world's active volcanoes can be found. Other volcanoes emerge from hot spots deep within tectonic plates. Let's delve into the science behind volcanic activity. At a constructive plate boundary, plates move away from each other, creating a pathway for magma to rise and form new crust, resulting in the formation of shield volcanoes. On the other hand, at a destructive plate boundary, an oceanic plate and a continental plate move toward each other. The oceanic plate is forced into the mantle, where it melts and hot magma rises through the other plate, leading to the formation of composite volcanoes. Transform boundaries, where plates slide past each other, are less likely to give rise to volcanoes. Hope you would have enjoyed the video. Thank you for watching.